So I finished up terraforming the dirt, adding this last little valley area that I had missed before. Got a couple more leads. This time it's like I'm 3D printing the right way. It's great. <laughs> I lifted up this area, I'm thinking it's like the earth water area, you know? By the way, this is the last bit of pre-recorded editing, I'm pretty excited to get back to playing the game. Um, and I decided to make this river here. It'll be a little bit clearer later on that that's a river, but that's why it's sunken down and too deep there. And I got this updated quite a bit. Uh, the footage quality is trashed because uh, I accidentally had an 11 hour recording and it, it just wasn't doing too well with the editing. It kept crashing. It was, it was, uh, you live and you learn. There's a button to, to make the clips shorter so you could just have less length in the recording by editing it in separate bits, but you know how it goes. Um, my little river area, the earth area I'm building some rocks on. The water started going the wrong way, so I had to um, replace it. Happens a couple times. <laughs> and up there I made a little place where the water is coming out. I'll have this little lifted area. That's where I plan on putting a nice big custom tree. The little area below it is where I'm putting a little root. And then up here we have our barracks where the guards live. Um, adding some battlements and some towers and some turrets and all that stuff. Um, I was figuring out a forge design here. I, w I was just kind of trying to figure out the shape I wanted to go for with it. If I wanted to do a... Um, banner or uh, like a tent or if I wanted to do like a whole building I decided a whole building works best because it is a forge and you know hot plus it's in the castle why would there be a tent in the castle um, I noticed this area here wasn't quite extended all the way out to the water line so I extended that out quite a bit and I decided that is where I'm going to put a cauldron and I took care of some more jungle trees to get some more jungle wood so I could take care of that dock over there since I want to put my storage in it. Worked my way through some jungle trees. Cleared out um, definitely a solid chunk of the area. And started putting these um, dock posts in. I noticed my uh, counting was a little bit bad the first time, so I had to move a couple of them around. <laughs> but that's alright. You you can always replace it. If you don't like it, you can always move it. Sorry for the graphical error there. I know the sun was shining on the water weird. And here I go with fixing up this area over there. That's like a smaller dock for smaller boats. And then over here is where some medium-sized boats would be. And the front end is where you put your big boat. Since this is the mercantile district, that means it's a boat where they drop off goods. And then I needed some spruce. So I knew right by spawn there was a big spruce forest as well as a dark oak forest. So I headed back over to spawn to get that together. This 
right on spawn I have built a fallen tree. You might be able to see that over there. Uh, it's got a crafting table in it, and uh, while I was over here I decided to put some oak in a box because occasionally I'll die with uh, no reset point, and I always have to get a couple pieces of oak so that I can grab a boat and head, head back home. Um, here's the spruce forest. I took out a whole big chunk of it. I made sure to have at least a stack of saplings. I had over a stack. It was great. I have plenty to replant later on. And I had about six stacks of wood by that point as well. Which meant I could build up this dock area. So with the underwater jungle wood, it looks like there's algae growing on it. I just like how it looks. But then I changed my mind a little bit of how it looked because I wanted the top of the posts to be stripped wood. It just it just blended better with that jungle and blended a little too well with the platforming. So I ended up changing out the platforming in a bit. After I placed almost all of it down, I was like, nah, it matches too well and uh, took it back apart. Um, that's coming up pretty soon. But yeah, I was you know, stripping it so that it matches the underwater portions better. I put some sideways ones in that weren't stripped to give that like pop of color. I started putting together the storage um, shed thing on the on the on the dock there. It's a it's kind of a warehouse, an open open warehouse, you know. Those doors get a few iterations before I get them the way I want them. And here I am gathering some dark oak so that I could put together that dock better. This is just behind that spruce forest. You'll see the spruce forest to the left and on the right. That's where spawn is, that little uh, extension of the oak forest over there. That's where spawn is at. I only managed to gather about 16 saplings, but I had enough wood to get started, so I figured I was good to go. I'm probably going to have to come back over here and get some more saplings later on, but I was getting attacked and I just didn't feel like standing, because I forgot my bed that time. <laughs> I did, however, find a... Um, uh, da -da 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 -da. The flowering new tree that leads down to lush caves. I found one of those. I was very excited about that. I'm very excited about rooted dirt and getting a bunch of it. And here I am swapping out the oak planks for that dark, or sorry, spruce planks for the dark oak to give it that color definition. I leave the spruce trap doors in place because they just, they look better. They're, they're just better, generally. Love, love some spruce trapdoors. They're just so great for everything, decorating everything, honestly. Okay, I filled it right back in. I put some stairs in to make it look kind of transitional between the dock portion and the uh, warehouse. I haven't quite decorated it yet. It is getting decorated in the next video. Uh, what I'm planning today to do is decorate off the dock and the insides of the buildings. And yes, I said buildings. There's more to come. Spoilers. Um, as well as finishing up a new building. I have a new building in mind already and I'm super excited to do it, but it is going to take quite a bit of... Um, terraforming down at that bottom portion there so that I have enough room for it. It's going to be a nice big building. Uh, I was going to say what it was, but spoilers. Spoilers. Next episode. You already know. Um, <laughs> by the time this is posted, I'd probably already done it. But 
right here I wanted to put a shorter dock for sort of like medium sized boats, maybe like a three wide boat that I'm going to build there. I started doing some designs for them, but I didn't like the designs I did, plus they were too close, so I changed my mind on them and I'm going to end up coming back and doing one today. And then over here I finished up the jungle areas that I was missing posts in, I worked on this door some more, made sure it looked right, worked on the interior. I changed that stairwell so many times. I went and got some acacia wood saplings as well as some mud. I needed some mud bricks so I went to go get mud and there happened to be acacia on the way so I grabbed some saplings while I was over there. This is uh, just directly ahead if you keep going straight after the bandits cave you'll reach that area where I got the acacia. If you turn up your render distance you can even see it. And I designed that small little hut that's kind of a fisherman's hut. This is a mercantile area so it should be the only house in it. Just that little fisherman hut right there. I'm gonna put some stands outside it so that you can show that the fisherman is selling fish, campfires with fish on them, stuff like that. Um, I built this little, I want to call it a patio, up there on some walls, uh, so that I had a deeper portion of the um, storage area to toss all the storage bins in. It's going to make a lot more sense once the next building is there, what, what this patio section is. It's also a way up into it from the warehouse. It's nice and uh, accessible for the fishermen to get up onto this patio. The different merchant vessels delivering their goods to town. I'm going to be extending the pathway up from the patio as well so that they can get up to the city, up to some cart places where the carts stop and everything. And here I am doing the roof for the building. I made a nice um, wide barn style roof for it since it is a where a warehouse it's not really a place where uh, people live it's just kind of a place where stuff sits so it's kind of open concept there doesn't really need to be doors the dock doors are mostly to keep the ocean water out and then back here is a nice little entrance to that patio with a little uh, balcony area right there so like the foreman can watch his workers put stuff into the warehouse you know stuff like that I kind of want it to be like a secret um, spot where the workers sit I end up putting a um, Uh, flower pot on the ground there to make it look like there's ashes in it and stuff. With a nice little uh, window there to air out the fish smells from the warehouse as much as you can. And I got those mud bricks. I s move around the door placement so many times when I change my mind back and forth and back and forth. You know, as you do. When you're building, you just gotta kind of feel it till it works, you know? And then here I built the roof. End up changing the roof around a couple of times over there. I wanted to make it look nice and even from the outside and the inside.
and I put s some spruce trap doors on the inside to hide the uh, birch so you can't see the lining. And I built a little uh, docking thing. Well, thanks for watching.